All right, guys, welcome back. As promised, I have an amazing interview lined up for you guys. I have none other than All That Vow sitting with me. Hi, girl. Hi. Hey, what's going on? I'm. We're doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you. Well, we're you. excited you're here. And I want to say thank you, first of all, you know, for coming on the of show course. today. Having a one-on-one, I love one-on-ones because mm-hmm. I get to really get to inside your head, know what's going on and what you're about to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that okay? We're about to tackle this. Is that all right? Of course. I'm all ready. Right. <laughs> All right, so now I read your I read a little bit about your mm-hmm. bio and it says that you're a songwriter. Mm-hmm. Now you're you're also pop, mm-hmm. right? Now I'm so interested in that. I and I heard the single and I heard this electrifying, you know, the tune, it was different. Now before I get into all that, I kind of want to go back to like where you started. You mm-hmm. know, where did singing and that that drive for writing music mm-hmm. come from? So basically, um, ever since I was three years old, my family always had me doing pageants and carnivals and all this stuff, always dressing up. Um, My mom put me into dance classes when I was four years old, doing ballet, acro, hip hop. Um, My instructor, Angela Mendez, who's been my dance director for years, um, she's always trained me. Yeah. But she's back at home. I'm actually from Providence, Rhode Island. Oh, look at mm-hmm. that. We thought of Miami. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rhode I'm Island. i of Miami. Okay, I've definitely okay. been here for a couple of years now. And um, I've danced my whole entire life. And music and dance is like peanut butter and jelly. you got to have it. Um, the music moves your body. Your dance moves match the music. So I fell in love with music, obviously, over the years with dancing. And when I was 11, I after school, there was this after-school music program. And this guy... He had us sing, like write songs and sing. He had his own recording oh, wow. studio. He had us go to his Wait, studio. Wait, what, what grade was this? How I was like sixth grade, maybe. I was wow. like eleven years old. And so he had us sit, uh, writing songs and singing, and um, he had us do like a little girl group. And then like two <laughs> of the girls fell off, and then it was just me. And I recorded some songs with him. Were you nervous? Um, I was, but I felt like I was ready. I've always been on stage. I've always been in front of people. Like since four years old, I've been doing like national competitions. So in front of thousands of people, judges. A lot but of when pressure. it came to the writing, so did it, came it feel to writing, different? It just came to my head. Yeah. So when I started writing with him, it was just coming to me. It just came to me, and I just was writing stuff down, matching the music with my lyrics, um, and songwriting just came to me. And really, I write everything about my experiences. I was just gonna ask now, being such at a, at, at, at such a, a young, young age, age you know you what I mean? About, right? Like what? Yeah. What? Were, <laughs> could you remember? <laughs> um, I really can't. I have a I have a songbook at home, but I don't remember what I was writing oh, at eleven so cool. years old. Oh, that's so You still have your songbook from things that you've yeah. written back then, and it's back home. Oh, yeah. that's so dope. So, you, do you plan on writing CD. a book? Probably. I'll probably put those first lyrics in there right, right? when that's I was what I'm eleven. <laughs> um, and so, as I got older, I actually stopped doing the music. As I got older, when oh, really? I was like fifteen, sixteen, I just kept dancing, competitively dancing, okay. um, doing competitions. I got into college, and I really didn't start getting back into music till I moved to Miami just a couple years ago. Um, wait, did wait, okay, wait. So, do you have brothers and sisters? I do. And are they also into music? No. And no. I'm like the black sheep of the family. Are I'm you really the outgoing one? I do music. <laughs> I'm an artist. Everyone else is like my brother's a medical student. My oh sister, yes, this <laughs> is completely different. Um, my sister's just 16 and she's in high school. She's nothing like that. Like she plays video games still. Okay, but okay. So, so mom and dad still supports though. Oh, they yeah, they love it. My mom's my number one fan. She paid for all my dance lessons. She's at all my classes. She's the number one to retweet my stuff. She loves my music. She is like the number one fan. So, so from Rhode Island, how old were you when you moved from Rhode Island? I was twenty one. Oh, you were. I you was, were 21. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was yeah. a little bit older. So then, by the time you came here, you already knew what you wanted to mm-hmm. do. So you came here with the purpose to say, "I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna what? I Get a, a recording." A, so when know. I when I was uh, growing like into college, I was doing business. I was studying business, and I realized I didn't want to give up my dancing and singing and all that entertainment background. And so I said, I have to go somewhere where I can be seen. And I feel like there's only three destination cities in the world, and that's New York, LA, and Miami. Um, I got a scholarship to move to Miami full like ride to live for free on my campus and a school here in in Miami and I moved here um and people just started calling me a star like every time I I came out you look like a star girl (laughs) every time I walked out I went to the club oh who are you are you an artist are you a star and I just kept saying yeah (laughs) had no song out had nothing out and that's when I was like I need to start writing people are already noticing me in my first year of being here wait Um, okay wait now Now I have to go to break now I just I gotta hear more because that's (laughs) it's motivational right Mm -hmm. it's what spirits Mm -hmm. you okay guys stay tuned we'll be right back.